Marine Vagant Muslim feminist activist Yasmin Abdul Makid in last night's BBC One documentary Islam, Women and Me, 28-year-old Marine Beg set out to answer a difficult question, can you be a good Muslim and a strong, independent woman at the same time? Beg starts at home, where her father enforces a strict curfew on his daughter and demands constant updates on her whereabouts but not her bros. Her father's old school reasoning is this whatever our parent, our guardians, our elders said was to be be obeyed, next big turns her attention to marriage. She signs up to Muzmatch, a dating app for Muslims, and meets with three men. It's clear from her dates that there is no one version of how a good Muslim woman should look or act. Each man has a different opinion on how they would want their wife to behave and dress. One is uncomfortable with the niqab the face veil that leaves only the eyes visible, while another would expect his wife to dress modestly. What becomes clear to Big is many of the things expected of Muslim women aren't based on Islam itself but men's interpretation of it. If someone tells me that I have to wear it, I'm taking my hijab off. I wear this out of love. While at dinner with a group of Muslim women, they explain to Big that it's tiring to defend wearing a headscarf. The majority wear it out of choice, not oppression, they argue. One of them explains, of course some women are forced to wear the hijab, but there are so many other women that haven't been. If someone tells me that I have to wear it, I'm taking my hijab off. I wear this out of love, this is my identity, and it's not something I do because my God tells me to do it, everything my God tells me to do, he gives me a choice, Marine Big and Dr. Amra Bone at the Sharia Council in Birmingham Lotter in the program, Big sits in on a panel at the Sharia Council in Birmingham. Women come there to petition for a divorce. One unidentified woman hasn't seen her husband in five years but he refuses to divorce her. The process is inherently ease, women have to share intimate details, while their husbands aren't required to attend. A divorce granted under Sharia law is not legal in civil law either. In her concluding statements Big asks, why is it that women's rights in general are almost hidden, and men's rights are emphasized judging by the Twitter reaction to the show, viewers were divided on the merits of the show. Take a look, why do all programs on Islam follow this blueprint Pakistani culture, awkward Asian dating scene, Sharia council divorce, crying scene, moment of reflection. Please improve the discourse because of this ISNT most of our realities and B were tired AF Islam women on me, Sabina at Poco Book Reader February 6, 2018 Can you be an independent woman and a good Christian? Can you be an independent woman and a good secular worker? Can you be an independent woman and a good mother? Can you etc.? And can you be an independent man and a good? Strange. As a man, I never get asked that. Odd. Jason Davies at Jason Davies February 6, 2018 Powerful stuff by at the Queen Marine. It's so important that society its laws protect women wherever misogyny rears its ugly head. It is not acceptable regardless of any real or perceived religious belief system Islam women on me, Nick Wood at Nick Wood February 6, 2018 So interesting to get an inside glimpse of the Sharia Council when dealing with Muslim divorce. Great doc by the Queen Marine Islam women on me I have to say, her dad is also a treasure. Bless him. He just loves her. If I were her I'd let him live under my stairs, smiley face, David James Lister at Molster Ulster February 6, 2018 Thank goodness Muslim women's desires and needs are being pointed out. It should anti be debut to acknowledge this, Islam women on me, Kanza at Kanz Ahmed February 6, 2018 The question was does Islam prevent independence my answer and my answer alone is no it doesn't. Certainly not for the many independent women like myself if anything it has taught me independence. That I am not anyone's property save all as and I don't bow to men, rep star at repi Akamoni February 6, 2018 Puzzled by the ending of Islam women on me I've seen too many women turn into a shadow of themselves when they get married. That won't be me. 1. Shame to turn the story of Muslim women into one of oppressive marriage. 2. Domestic abuse of women is rife irrespective of background. Shalina Jan Mohammed at Love and Headscarf February 6, 2018 Marine Big says she hasn't met many women who feel empowered by Islam. My girl needs to get out more face with rolling eyes. Islam women on me. Nish at Nish's mail February 6, 2018 Islam women on me. One part one didn't enjoy was seeing the woman for her divorce in front of a panel and the second party WASNT there present its 2018 Why is the the bloke not their religion and culture is mixed and lost in translation? The panel didn't even understand, times change. Alex Ayyubayat at Alex Ayyubayat February 6, 2018 This documentary had nothing to do with Islam, issues were more cultural as with any other culture. Islam promotes equality, women is Islamic history need to be studied.
at BBC and Marine Bay should have titled your program Confused, Culture and Me Islam Women on Me, Rukia at Rukia 123 February 6, 2018 Islam, Women and Me is now available on iPlayer.